Since the beginnings of the Gubelin Gem Lab in the 1920s, we have always tried to um, push the borders of knowledge, invest into new technologies to overcome challenges that the gemstone industry is having. We have now achieved a next level, a next step that will bring the industry, the gemstone industry, a step further. And today's consumers, especially luxury good consumers, are more and more aware of the importance of social, environmental and ethical standards. It might become difficult for a jeweler to close the deal to make the sales if he cannot provide the requested transparency about the provenance or the exact conditions under which the raw materials, such as gemstones, have been produced. Mining companies are increasingly trying to explain how they are running their operations. They try to explain which environmental standards they pursue, which social and ethical standards they pursue and how they um, give back to the community and the countries in which they work. However, today there is no independent proof that allows to determine on a specific gemstone that indeed it does come from that specific mine or from another mine. Thanks to our network with the academic world and the main research institutions in Switzerland and abroad, we came across a very fascinating technology developed at the uh, ETH in Zurich in Switzerland. Nanotechnology offers unique opportunities to be used as product tracers. One of the reasons for that is that in, let's say, a gram of nanoparticles, you have uh, 10 to the 16 individual particles. That's like having billion times a billion individual particles, so enormous, unimaginable numbers from extremely small nanoparticles. One particle, you can't even see an individual particle. But if you're able to identify one of these enormous number of particles, you have an extremely powerful tracer. Now what you also need in tracing is have something unique. So every tracer has to be different. And so what we developed in our technology is that we use DNA as a tracer. So we put DNA molecules into every individual nanoparticle. And DNA um, enables us to put information into the particles. DNA we can synthesize as well, we can generate a code and generate uh, one kind of particle with one DNA code and another particle with a different DNA code and you can generate an enormous number of different particles with different DNA codes which you can then add to products. You can then, after you add these uh, particles with DNA codes of, with, to products, you can identify the product throughout the life cycle of the product by taking samples of the product and identifying which DNA sequence is in that product. The process of applying the nanoparticles on the rough crystals is very easy and can easily be integrated into the normal procedure and process in the mine. When the raw crystals are immersed into the liquid which contains the nanoparticles, these particles penetrate the fissures, both the visible ones and even invisible ones, they adhere tightly to the surface of the fissures and the liquid that brought them into those fissures is evaporating within a few minutes, leaving no traces whatsoever in the fissures. The nanoparticles, due to their extremely small size, are not visible by any optical microscope and therefore, as well, do not have any impact on the quality, the appearance or the properties of the gemstone. What we actually do is we write the information, the identity of the mining company, possibly also the mining period, into DNA. We take DNA because this is a very concentrated medium storage. This DNA containing the information about the mine, we encapsulate into amorphous silica and these silica beads are our nanoparticles that we then bring into the fissures of the gemstone. Only the Gubelin lab knows the information 
that is written into the DNA. We are the custodian of that information. The cut stone can be mounted into jewelry in the usual way. The presence of these nanoparticles in the fissures of the emerald does not affect the work of the setter and vice versa, the work of the setter does not harm the nanoparticles in the gemstone. We believe that there's a big need for traceability in our, let's say, global economy where we don't know anymore precisely where things have been manufactured, who has manufactured a certain product and what happens with that product after we've used it. So there's this real need for tracing technologies to be able to come back to a connectivity between manufacturing, use and waste of the goods that we use in our economy. Now back at the jewelry shop, the sales staff is in the position to offer to the end consumer the actual proof of provenance, where the gemstone is coming from. This gives the final customer peace of mind and the transparency that he or she might expect from doing an important purchasing decision. For more information about this technology, please get in touch with the Gübelin Gem Lab.